much, darling. That father? Fell madly in love with her. They married and had three darling children. The eldest was named Wendy. And then came John. And last but not least, me, Michael. And we mustn't forget Nana. Tell us another story, Wendy. My dear brothers, Mother expects us all to be sound asleep by now. Please! Well, I suppose you can tell one more story. Nana, will you warn us of Mother's coming? See this? Did you draw that, Wendy? Uh, he lives in a world far from ours called Neverland. There's a secret land that grown-ups don't understand. There's pirates and Indians fighting and scary crocodiles biting. Where every day is exciting. Then we aren't going anywhere except to bed. We won't ever to go to Bugs Pirate or any end. Oh gracious, now we wouldn't want that. Mother, the carrier is waiting. I must say that I darling. Neverland is a real place, Mother. It's an island filled with pirates and Indians and Peter Pan. Well, maybe it is a real island, but it's only real in your dreams, and that's where you should go now.
my darlings, Liza wants some takeaway. I've got to finish in the kitchen, so you're in charge, Nana. We don't have to go to sleep right away, do we, Minnie? Well, I'm not sure. It's just dark. We have time for you to tell us another story. Yeah, tell us why we're pirates. But pirates are so wicked. That way I like them. They tie your hands behind your back and make you walk the plank. Then you drop into the sea and the sharks have you for supper. Do, do they really do that, Wendy? They really do. Sometimes they tie you to a cannonball and stuff you down a cannon and blast you through the sky. Never seen a pirate do that. Who, who's there? Woof, 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 woof. Nana, stop it. You'll make Liza mad. Has you been part of her? And just what's going on in here, Nana? Oh dear, Nana, look what you've done. Do you think you broke any bones? Take more than a ball of fur to break Liza, laddie. And that's it, nurse or no nurse, you're going outside. I can't abide by this racket. Come along and take your medicine. I know the children are safe as can be in their own beds. Come along, you big brute. Well, that's a fine how do you do. And how do you do too? It's Peter Pan. And who might you be? Don't you remember? It's me, Wendy, Mora, and Jella Darling. Oh, how do you do? How you come to make us want to play? I'm no pirate, but I've got a few pirates from my best enemies. Where do you live, Peter Pan? Second start to the right and straight on to morning. That's a silly address. How will the mainland be able to deliver your letters? Don't get any letters. But your mother must get letters. Don't got a mother. Never never had one and don't need one. So there. But who tucks you in at night? <laughs> Me, myself, and I. Who get your boy in the morning? Me, myself, and I. Who makes you take your medicine when you're sick? Me, myself, and I. May I ask you something, Peter Pan? You certainly are full of questions. What are you looking for? My shadow. And just what would your shadow be doing in this room without you? That bear you keep in here tore it off the other night. Nana's not a bear. She, she's a very big doggy. I don't care if she's a hippopotamus with three eyes. I want my shadow back. Well, I have the foggiest idea where it may be. Who, who is that? Tinkerbell. She's a very beautiful fairy, but so tiny only I can see her. Tink, do you know where my shadow is? Do you? Of course I do. In there? Is this it? Yes, I think this should do nicely. I can sew it on for you if you like. I shall like it very much. I dare say this might hurt a bit. I won't cry. Peter Pan never cries. I say, you are brave. Especially for one so young. How old are you? I won't lie, I am young. But you see, I don't know how young. I ran away the day I was born. What? How exciting. Why would you do that? I heard my father tell my mother what I would become when I become a man. I grow up to become a man. But I don't want to grow up to become a man. I don't want to grow up, period. So I ran away to Kensington Gardens, and that's where I met Tinkerbell and all the other fairies. Where did do where he came from? You won't tell anyone? Cross my heart and hope to die. And I'll tell you. When the first baby laughed, its laugh broke into a thousand pieces and they all went skipping about, and that was the beginning of the fairies. Do you still live at them in Kensington Gardens? Only sometimes, most of the time I live with the Lost Boys. What are they? They're the babies that follow their carriages. carriages. Well, they're, well the nan their nannies look the other way. They're not claimed in seven days, they're sent to Neverland. Neverland? But sometimes they get tiresome. Why? Because they want me to tell them stories. But I don't know any stories. We don't have anyone who can tell any stories to us. Where do you can tell stories? Uh, there. Now, Peter, stand up and see if that suits you. Why, it's better than before. You certainly are a very handy person to have about, Wendy. Thank you, Peter, but I believe it's time you went back to your lost boys and these two went to sleep. Can you really tell stories? Oh, wonderful stories. Stories about the sultans of Arabia and the pharaohs of Egypt. And said, well, it's no way to. What's that, Tink? The stories don't sound stupid at all. Tinkerbell doesn't like stories? She says she wanna hear stories you tell. That isn't very fair, they're splendid stories, really. And come with me to Neverland and tell stories to the Lost Boys. But what about mother and father, won't they miss us? You can come back whenever you say. Please, Wendy, come to Neverland. to sleep and slumbering inside your silly beds. You could be whistling a tune with
with the man in the moon playing tag with the stars instead. Oh, Peter, could we? Come along with me, all of you. I'll show you a place where dreams come true. Come and fly with me to Neverland. I can show you how. Wait and see. You'll pick up the nap. Captain Hook and his what are you idiots up to? The lost boys are hiding around here someplace. We thought you'd be one of them. Do I, Captain James Hook, pirate extraordinaire, was I am lost? Well, for a minute there, we were not Captain Hook, sir. But they're close by, sir. The hairs of my nose are twitching. They always twitch when the lost boys is near. And Peter Pan must be nearby as well. 
Hmm, perhaps we can get in a place where we can set up an ambush and get rid of that bragging little horse so once and for all. But wait, what's that? The Indians are selling guns in the past. But what now? Maybe looking for the lost boys too. Maybe looking for us. Hey, hey, hey st we stole some of their blankets. What do you do that for? Well, sir, the nights are getting cold and our pookies be freezing. Then we stand and fight. They'll make easy prey for us. Oh dear, oh dear, it's that crocodile. Oh no. Captain, what's wrong? Oh, it's that crocodile. Mm -hmm. He sure puts a, in a lot of extra following you, Captain. Though. Got my hands to taste. He's one of the rest of me ever since. Good thing we swallowed that crack, at least that gives you a warning. What do we do, Captain? Retreat, retreat! Lammy, we better run for it, too! Oh, well, now I don't think he's interested in anything but the captain. What's the matter with the cross? Is good enough for you? I take that as a real insult. Say now that. What's this? Indians! Almost a great shot for a big little panther. Almost oh, only count in horseshoes trying to reach a monk. We can catch them, Father. Princess Tiger Lily is right. We can capture the pirates once and for all. And stake them out in the hot sun. They'll dry up like animal hides. A noble idea, but we must be careful. The Lost Boys are around here somewhere. Shh. That was close. They're reaching for a fight. I hope they didn't hear my teeth chattering. Or my knees knocking. Oh gosh, we're safe now. They've gone a long way around the island. We can sit back and relax. I brought a mother for you all. 
Are you really going to be our mother? Well, I'm not sure. Can you bake a cake? Of course you can. Chocolate, four layers tall. Can you tell us stories? The most wonderful stories are eventually in the faraway place. Can you sew up the holes in my stockings? I brought my sewing kit. Can you, can you? Yes. Tuck us in at night? I would love to. I guess that means I'm your mother. And we'll show you our cave. You live in a cave? Really? Safest place from the Pirates and Indians. Smashing on the Willie Pirate and Indian. They fought to the death, right here, not 10 minutes ago. Come on, boys, let's show our guests their new home. Follow the leader. What's Hook got to say about that? All right then, for today's lesson, I thought we were gonna have a picnic. You, that's why you, you were coming to the lagoon. I have a picnic right here. Oh good, I'm ever so hungry. Did you make so much like you did last night and the night before? They were so delicious. And my stomach is growling so much, I can't hear myself think. But we must finish your lessons before we have fun. I don't think I like lessons. Don't be silly, John. You've always loved school. Have we gone to school? Of course. A real school with desk and rows and a proper blackboard and a teacher who carries a ruler. Honey, I can't remember. I can't imagine how you can be so forgetful. Uh, all right, everyone. Question one. What color were your mother's eyes? What if we don't know the answer? Well, just put a check mark. Question two. Who's taller, mother or father? And question three, what song did Mother sing at bedtime? All right, everyone, let me see what you've got. They're all check marks, and you too. Oh, John, you have an answer to single one. I can't remember. Can we please have something to eat? Uh, fine, take the picnic basket and set it up on that hill. That's not fair. I should carry it. Why should you? Because Wendy's my, my, well, she's something to me. You're just saying that, John. You're a lost boy, just like the rest of us. Aren't you hungry, Peter? I think you make a fine mother, Wendy. All the lost boys have really taken to you. I'm glad. And what about you? I think you make a fine picnic lunch. Peter, look there. Pirates. I'll come to him right here. What will you do with this? Well, now we're just going to have to sit by the clock. Yeah, we'll wait till the tide comes in. The water's going to get higher and higher and higher. You want me to drown? Well, no, that's kind of a good idea of my dear, not ours. You can let me go if you want. My father will be most grateful. He will, will he? So I'll give you anything you ask for. That's so? Well, now that's a very tough thing to offer, but I'm afraid Captain Hook won't like us very much if we let you go. If we let you go, then he'll let us down, and he'll make us walk a plank. Ah, uh, it's just as me says. Peter, we must save Tiger Lily. Ahoy there, you lovers. Captain, is that you? Starkey? Aye, aye, Captain. What are you two doing? We're tying the princess to the rock, like you ordered, sir. Set her free. Free? Cut the fool's ropes and let him go. But, Captain. At once, you hear, uh, I'll plunge my hook into you. You better run off, man. No hard feelings. Peter, Peter, control yourself. Don't I impersonate that full hook because we have been waiting for such an occasion as this? Now, Peter, it's time to go home and take your medicine. Oh, good afternoon, Captain Oak. You're looking very well today. Where's the princess? The tide's about to come in. You told us to let her go, sir. You fools, you ingrates, you land lovers. Captain, what's wrong? He sighs again. The game's up, haven't you noticed? All the boys here is combed, and they say yes ma'am and no thank you. What can it mean? They found a mother. What's a mother? Oh, you don't want to know. Make you wash behind your ears, me hardy buccaneers, and put away your swords and guns. They take away your parents. 
carrots and make you eat your carrots. Mothers always ruin the fun. And when you're about to win a fight, they make you act polite and give back everything that you want. It's wrong to be defeated, especially when you're cheated. Mothers always ruin the fun. They never go off duty. Why can't they just get a life of their own? They say, be quiet. Don't try it. They think you'll start a riot. Why can't they just leave us alone? They make you tidy up your room. As tidy as a tomb. And when it's all over and done, they make you go to sleepy. It's really kind of creepy. Mothers always ruin the fun. Ah, oh, mothers, they do have their charms. And it's for the many times she scolded me. Oh, it's for, oh no, here she comes. Tea is for tinker toys and teeter tots and tattletales and tippy toes and I lost between of thought. You're spelling Oh what's next? H E R H E R is her fault I'm so rotten although she had a pirate for a son put them all together and they spell my uh, uh. Talking mothers, the ones that ruin all the fun. Take it home, Captain. They always get so cranky when someone walks the planky. Why can't we just have our fun in the sun? They only recommend us, they just don't understand. There'll be no more fights in Neverland because they'll wake the baby birds and no more yelling because they'll wake the baby birds. The captain, you can't let that happen. What can I do? Well, now I'm sure a person of a rotten and cool desk logistic can think of something diabolical. Post me, stop flattering me, even if you are right. Captain. Quiet, Starkey. I'm thinking. But, Captain. Hush, a genius is at work. Captain, you'll drown. Ah, I've got the perfect idea. We get rid of the mother. Once we get rid of the mother, we can finally get rid of Peter Pan and have their island to ourselves. Well, now, Captain, we'll get the boat to rescue you. Boat? Rescue me? What for? Ah, why didn't you warn me? You idiots, you ingrates, you land lovers. Oh, no, not him. Get back. Get back. You don't want another taste of me. I'm no me at all. It's a rotten human being. And the prince walked ever so slowly toward the crystal coffin that sat in the middle of the forest. There, the seven dwarves were kneeling around the coffin, their heads bowed, their hands folded in prayer. Snow White can't be really dead. Look at that. Toodles, a big baby. <laughs> the prince kisses her, and she wakes up. Then they ride off into the sunset together. I knew it would work out. Tell her the other, Wendy. I thought an adventure instead. We want to get sword fighting over an hour. I'm sure the pirates are itching for some sword play. No, Peter. Another story, Wendy. Please, you like your story so much. I don't know, King. They're all going lazy, I think. I know you'll go with me, but it's more fun with everyone. I'm too tired. The pipe lunch was so good, I still can't move. You're such a good cook, Wendy. You'll stay with us always, won't you? That's a very long time, Nibs. How about this? 
I'll tell you one more story before you must go out to play. Does that suit you, Peter? As long as it's a short one. Very well. Once upon a time, there was a family. A mother, a father, and their three darling children. I oh. say, this does sound a bit familiar. And they had a very faithful nurse, Nana. So far, it's a wonderful story, Wendy. It is, isn't it? They, li they lived in a large house that had a splendid nursery that had a large window so the mo moonlight could come in at night. Are they there now? Oh, no. They flew away one night. That's silly. Children can't fly. But they did. They landed on a wonderful island and had many adventures. There were pirates and Indians and all sorts of creatures in the forest. But one day, they began to miss their mother and their father. I know. I really want to be ditched up. I do have a mother and a father. Of course not. That's why you're a lost boy. What happened to the children, Wendy? They decided they wanted to fly back to the nursery. But what if, what if the window was closed and locked? That would be awful. They wouldn't be able to get in. But the mother always left the window open, for she knew in her heart that one day her children would return. I thought that my mother would leave a window open for me too, but when I flew back, the window was shut and locked, and there was another little boy sleeping in my bed.
Hmm, I have an idea. Let's bring the Lost Boys with us. Smashing idea. That were a great fun. I'm sure we could find a mother and father to adopt you. Our very own mother and father. You don't need them. It would be nice to have someone to us in at night and leave the window open for us. What do you say, boys? All right, have it your way. The Indians feel good to guide you to shore. Go with Wendy and find a mother. But don't come crawling back to me when you want an adventure or two. Now, Peter, before we go, I want you to take your medicine. I don't have to do what you say. You say you're not my mother. Very well. I'll leave it here. Say so goodbye, boys. I shall miss you, Peter. Why a detour? Hmm, this is most curious. Why have we stopped? Look. Tink says she thinks it's a trap. Who would set a trap? Peter wouldn't dare. But he didn't want us to leave. But Wendy and the Lost Boys stay here while we go on to investigate. That's a good idea, Big Little Panther. We'll take this detour cautiously. Be ready to fight. We want to come and fight too. I've got everything with my pan. You'll do no such thing. If we're going to find you a mother and father, you must look clean and presentable when you arrive. We'll guard Wendy while you're gone. No, you can't have a drive. Come, we'll go see what's up. Oh, why, Michael, darling, your socks unraveling. S soon you won't have any left on your foot. Can you try it up? For now, we'll just have to stop it from unraveling. Ugh. There. Gee, now we gotta sit and wait for hours. I'm bored already. I'm hungry all of a sudden. Children, I'm afraid when we get home, you have to practice some good manners. Maybe this would be a very good time to start. We ain't got no Captain Hook, you're looking 
rather dashing today. But you're the one who appears to be dashing. Uh, yes, I'm sorry we can't stay. We're on our way home now, so we won't be bothering you any longer. Come along, boys. Actually, I don't think you're going anywhere for our ship. Am I right, man? Well, now that seems to be the plan, I, Captain. And just what do you intend to do with us? Wouldn't you like to know? Peter Pan's friend. And where's Pan? We'll never tell you. Take him in. Put him in shackles. And where will you be, Captain? Getting rid of Peter Pan, once and for all. Let's go this way. Come on. Peter, watch out! Peter! Moan and groan, 
But that would be too scary Let's just leave that one alone Decisions, decisions Which way shall it be? Oh wait, we have the perfect thing A clever climbing I've been keeping this poison for such a moment as this Oh, it's that nasty firefly Be gone Now I must find something he'll be likely to drink out of. Ooh. Lord Peter Pan to be drinking whenever when he says so. To Peter's new mother be her, her own archangel of death. <laughs> Two drops in here and Peter Pan will bleed no more. Uh, this is too delicious for words. I made the perfect choice with only one regret. I won't be here to see it, but he'll soon be dead, I bet. Decisions, decisions, which way shall it be? I must have made the perfect choice of clever, clever. Hello, who's there? Wendy, is it you? If it is, I'm awfully sorry. I mean it. Pink, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be guarding me and you're supposed to be at home. Think what? Winnie and the Waspies have been captured and taken to the pirate ship. No, Tink, it doesn't serve a right. They need to be rescued. And I'm the only one who can rescue them. But wait, I never took my medicine. When do they be proud of me if I remember on my own? Leave me alone, Tink. I know what I'm doing. What are you talking about? Hook was never here. He couldn't have found their cave. Stop it. Well, I can take my medicine. No, don't drink that. It's for me. Tea. What's wrong? Don't you feel well? Poison? What poison the medicine? Oh, Tink. Oh, my friend, Tink. You drink it yourself to save me. You can't be dead. You can't be. Wait a second. Wait a second. Fairies only die when someone stops believing them, in them. So if everyone here believes, Tink will breathe again. But everyone here has to believe. If you believe in Tink, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Yes, that's it. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Keep clapping. Yes, that's it. Tink, are you all right? Thanks you all. Now make hook pay. Tink? You bet we will. Lead on. Get ready, Hook. You're about to face Peter Pan.
not Smee. Have you had the sail mended yet? Almost crap. Perfect. Once you do, we set sail. Well, that's perfectly impossible. And why is that? Adopted? I'm taking a second to leave the Admiral's We can find homes for them, Mr. Hook, sir. It's Captain Hook, sir. You don't find a home for, home for any of you. As I see it, you all join Peter at the bottom of the sea. Well, maybe not all of you. I got room for two cabin boys. Ah. Uh, so who wants to join the crew? Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, sir. This is Mark, a fine cabin boy. No, Michael, you mustn't. You boy, you think you got some pluck in you? You ever want to be a pirate? Oh, yes, sir. John, no. What would you call me if I turned pirate? How about Blackbeard Joe? That's a fine name. John, you mustn't. But we don't want to end up like Peter, Winnie. Have you so little trust in Peter that you really think he's dead? But I have to take help. Would you like to join? Would you, sir? I know how to swab the deck. What about you, boy? I can sharpen a sword with my teeth. You ever thought about being a pirate? And what if I say no? Mates, bring out the plank. The, the plank? Lovely view from the edge before you drop into the sea. It's okay, I can swim. Now with your hands tied behind your back. Well, well, I have a message from your real mothers. We hope our sons will die like English gentlemen. I want to do our mother once. Me too. I'm going to think about it. But what will become of you, Wendy? Oh, I never told you to become the mother to my crew. We need a mom. And our men are socks. And greet to us at night. Somebody to watch behind our ears. We tuck some too, mother. None of you must agree to join this pirate ship. And for one thing, it's the filthiest ship I've ever seen. Look, <clears throat> look at the messy fun all over the Jolly Roger. Look at the dirt and grime in every little nook. How can you think of living in these conditions? And how can you even think of life with Captain Hook? Would you rather get away from this awful island? Would you rather let the Jolly Roger say? Guess we'd rather not to do what the captain tells us, because none of us wants to have to walk the plank. It's Tinkerbell. What is it, Tink? Well, Hook oh. says it's true. Peter's dead? He took his medicine just like he wanted him to. But it was full of poison. You nasty man. I can't imagine a more despicable coward than you, Captain Hook. Oh, you make me blush. What's that, Captain? Somebody's whistling. You tied up great looking Panthers people, didn't you? Tied up the drum. There's nobody it can be. Maybe the, rush, the wind's rushing to a crack in the window before Captain. But there ain't no wind here. Cookie, go see what it is. I'll make quick work of whatever it is. Oh, they're a fine pirate. Everybody doesn't have one chance in a million. <laughs> Cookie, go see what happened to Starkey. But, Captain. You pirate man, act like one. R. R. Oh, that's another fine man, of, you know, whatever that is. Cookie, what happened in there? Scott, go see what happened to him. I ain't going out alone. I can go over to you and you follow him. Well, take 
Chicken yard. One, two, three. I'm just having a bit of fun. 
A crocodile. He can't be in the Jolly Roger. Oh? No. Uh, you don't want another taste of me. I'm all skin and bones. No meat at all. And this is a rotten human being. Tastes like an old shoe. Serves him right. He tried to kill us all. But we weren't scared. It was great fun. Thank you, great big little panther, for your help. And we thank Peter. He found us some stuffed inside logs on the way here. Let's go get some of that birthday cake. Goodbye, Wendy. Goodbye, boys. If you're, ne if you're ever in Neverland again, stop by and say hi. No. Well, boys, it looks like one. The pirate ship is ours! Yay! Yay! I'm one, one. Now what, Peter? Whatever you want to do, you can do. Whatever you want to be, you can be. There are no silly rules to bother you. Do whatever you want. Whatever you like me. But don't you realize the great growing up is the greatest adventure of them all? how much fun we had. I know, Peter, but John and Michael have already forgotten a uh, mother and father, and I can barely remember them myself. Well, I don't see what's so great about having a mother anyway. Please, Peter, take us home. All right, go on. Take me home, Tink. And I don't care if I ever see you again, Wendy. Ever, ever, ever. Yes, Tink, take us home. But it would be lovely if I could see my babies just one last time. Ma'am, are you still up? You practically haven't slept since, well, for quite a few nights. Has Mr. Darley retired? Oh, no, ma'am. He went out for a walk by himself, mumbling that it's all his fault. Poor dear. If only Nana hadn't left the nursery that night. Oh, ma'am. It's not your fault, Liza. It must have been a cat or a mouse that lured Nana out of the room that night. Ma'am, I best come clean. See, it was me who let Nana out of the nursery that night because she was making such a racket. Oof. So it's all my fault, and I'll never ever forgive myself. Oh, Liza, how could you have? I didn't think anything would happen. Woof, 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 woof. Nana, stop it. She was just like that the night the children left. Liza, there's a strange cloud up there. Why, indeed. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it's a pirate ship. A pirate ship? Don't you see it, ma'am? So that's it. 
What's it, man? That's where I thought they might have been. Man, you're not making a bit of sense. But I am, Liza. Mother, it's me! Wendy! Mother, I'm home. I really am. I promise not to leave again. I want to stay here and grow up with John and Michael and all the rest. Mother? John, Michael! You are our mother. Of course I am, and you've come back to us. You didn't think we'd stay away forever, did you? I... 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 That it was a great time. I know, Michael, I know. Can you... Mo, oh, Mother, can you forgive us? We simply lost track of time. I know, I know. When your father gets back, he'll be so thrilled to see you. What's that now? No, Isaac, it's all right, it's all right. All right, boys. Get out of here, you thief. Go on. It's all right. It's all right. Blind me, there's a crazy one in here. He might slit all our throats. But he's just a boy, aren't you? Toodles by name. Are you my mother? Oh, dear. I can't be for a moment. I knew I'd find you. There's more. I found my mother. She's our mother, too. Hi, we've been waiting a long time, ma'am. I mean, mother. Are there more of you? Just one more, Peter. They're crawling out of the woodwork. Look, we found ourselves a mother. Here, Fox. Uh, uh, Peter, please come in. I want you to stay here and grow up with John and Michael and all the rest. No, you don't. You want to stay with me in Neverland. You don't want to grow up. Never, ever, ever. But I do, Peter. You can't mean that. You can't. We've had wonderful times and wonderful adventures, and we're getting older whether we like it or not. We've got our studies, our friends, mother, father, Nana. No, I want you to be my mother. You can stay, Peter. It's nice to see you again. Again? I've never been here before. I'd almost forgot until I saw a ship flying on the clouds. Stay with us, Peter, and we can have the real adventure of growing up together. Peter Pan, and the window will always be open. <laughs> <laughs>